What's up guys? Welcome back to Leap of Vapes. I am Ray, and as the title says, this is going to be an ECC Detroit 2017 recap. Um, just to get a little precursor, um, you know, Friday show, Freaky Friday, Fresh show, uh, TJ with his Golf Tea Vapes show. Uh, we got a group of people that we all hang around. And... Uh, Vaporium, vapefan.net, all of those guys, we got together and we are all going out to ECC Detroit. Now, um, you see my preview where I was going to meet some friends, got to meet them, loved it. Um, I just wanted to take a little uh, tour through some of the uh, things that I experienced. Um, I will let you know that there was so much fun going on that there's sometimes you just don't get enough clips in. And this was my first ECC, um, so I wanted to soak it all in. And unfortunately, sometimes I just didn't turn on the camera. But hopefully I got enough uh, footage here that you guys can take a look, see a little bit of what the uh, event looks like. And what I've been told is this is a small event. So if you go to a bigger one like Tampa or uh, Foxwoods or Las Vegas, it's going to be even bigger than this. But what I'm going to do is uh, we'll roll out. Um, I want to start with a little bit of stuff with the flight. Um, got rolled into the uh, airport at about uh, 5 o'clock in the morning. You know, car going by. Going to leave it in. Don't care. Um, yeah, it got to the airport 5 o'clock in the morning. Flight takes off 5.45. Great thing about it is I had a little K bag with all my mods, my batteries, everything in there, and the baggie full of juice. Um, got up to security, laid open the K bag, and put it right on top of the bin. Pushed it through. Um, before I could even get the liquid out of my bag, um, the TSA agent looked at it. He's like, that's a nice little setup you got there. I bet you got a bag full of juice. Pulled out the juice in my hand, put it in there. He's like, yep, just send it on through through security and five minutes because I l live really close to a really small airport that has connections at Chicago. So I'm through security, um, got a couple minutes to wait, and we uh, we boarded. And I'm going to take you few through a few items here. Um, first thing you're going to see is the view that I uh, seen outside my window. Had to take a picture of it. Beautiful sunrise, new things were going on the right way. And uh, since it's cold here in Iowa, we had a little frost on the on the uh, we had a little frost on the wings, so we had to go through some the de-icing process. So I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, show you what that looked like. Yeah, I thought it was kind of interesting. And then we'll do a takeoff. Then I'll be back. Uh, well, take off. Then I'm gonna do the takeoff from Chicago. Uh, nothing really happened there. I had 45 minutes layover, no problem. Um, you know, not not anywhere near. My whole travel time was about, you know, four and a half, five hours. So I was pretty good with with not vaping the entire time. So there's no me sneaking out, showing you how I'm going to vape, stuff like that. So I'm going to cut to some of that footage on getting us to Detroit. So check this out. Check it in at the airport. couple last minute clouds before I have to check in through security. It's all going to Detroit. We'll see you in a few hours. Peace out, Bay fan.
Okay, so got to the DTW, Detroit. Here I am, got my bags, getting outside, filled up my RDTA box, and got some vapes in. You know, it's been a good uh, five hours since I got my last vape, so hopped outside, and I was looking around for Haas. You know, Big Haas, he's always in the chat, and the Wednesday show or the uh, Freaky Friday show, and uh, you can, you know who I'm talking about, Big Haas. Well, uh, we're rooming together along with Yeti, and Haas was coming to the airport to pick up Yeti and I at the airport. Um, things happen with Yeti's flights. Um, he missed his connection in Dallas. No big deal. We'd wait around for him, pick him up a little bit. Um, so we went to lunch. We went to Bob Evans. It was a great time uh, getting to know Haas a little bit better. You know, we got to sit down. And Bob Evans, you got some damn tasty candy bacon as an appetizer. I love that stuff. Um, so we finished up, um, kind of chilled around the parking lot a little bit, vaped in Haas's truck, um, checked out some of his gear. He checks out some of my gear. Um, we uh, just basically chilled a little bit, killing some time. And we decided we we're going to go out to a Walmart. Grab some water, bottled water. I'm glad we did. We'll get to that. Um, we also grabbed some chips, some cookies, snacks for the hotel. You know, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning, you're going to get hungry and you want something salty or sweet. So if you're going to an event like this, you're staying in a hotel, make those three purchases. They'll be well worth it. Um, so got done with there. We went over to the airport again to pick up Yeti. And uh, if you check out Fresh P Book, I went live over there. And the title of the thing is called Searching for a Yeti. We knew when it was getting in. I kind of wanted to hide behind this tree that that was uh, so it could look like it was creeping, creeping up on Yeti. But I figured with security and everything, wouldn't do that. But, um, yeah, check that video out, out on the Fresh P Book. And, uh, you know, we found Yeti. We captured a Yeti, we got him outside, we got some vapes, and we got caught word that uh, we also needed to pick up Fresh and Jacks. So we only had a little bit to uh, wait, maybe uh, 30 minutes for their plane to come in, and we met Fresh and Jacks. During that time, you know, got to, got to get in good with Yeti. He came out, Trooper, um... Yeti, Yeti's a character, and I'm glad I met him and got to hang out with him. Uh, Fresh arrived, and Jax arrived. Uh, we met him by the baggage claim. Cool thing about that meeting, you see Jax coming in, and then you see this little dude with his carry-on bag over his shoulder, just trooping down down the escalator. I guess Jax's bag uh, got messed up somehow, and uh, Fresh was being the gentleman that he is, carrying that bag down. It just looked like, you know, a juggernaut coming down the stairs with that. So I uh, got to meet them. Big hugs, big hugs. Uh, great people. And we all piled in the hostess vehicle. Nice big old truck. We had plenty of room for all the luggage. And we went over to the hotel. Now, uh, when we got to the hotel, um, we got to meet some more people, you know. Uh, I know I'm going to miss a bunch of people here. But uh, we got to meet... John Carlo and Ducky, great, great people, excellent. Glad we ran into, or we got to hang out with them all the time. Um, not that day, but the next day we got to meet up Rin. I seen Rin in person, and you know the camera in her room just don't, really doesn't do her justice. Uh, she's a great person, uh, beautiful soul, and beautiful person all throughout. So. Um, what else? Um, yeah, and later, uh, while we were standing outside the hotel, we hadn't even probably got up to a room except for drop-off bags. Uh, we ran into ST, Brian, Mike Vapes, uh, Heavy, Phenom, um, Brian, you know. All these guys pulled up in Uber. I guess they were out gallivanting around, uh, having, having some adventures of their own. You'll probably see it in their videos as well. Um... Let's say uh, who else was running? Michael Moda. I know he's in, he watches the videos. Uh, we got SR Bontrager. Uh, whole whole boatload of people. Um, I know there's too many to name. 
maybe you'll see them in later in the video or when I'm getting to that portion of uh, putting up the video of the expo then we'll go ahead and I'll be reminded of those names and I'll I'll point them out uh, but what I like to shoot now is just kind of uh, some hotel stuff I'm gonna put it to just a montage um, I was shooting most of this with my GoPro with the case on so the audible audio is really not that great so I'm gonna just put a little bit of music to it and we'll speed up this portion so check it out we're at the hotel and we're meeting peeps <laughs> Alright, so that was first night hotel fun, and it was fun. I got to meet all of these people. Now, what we don't see here is after this, uh, we are all freaking hungry. So, we, Yeti, Gizzard, Fresh, and myself, we all went out for Coney Dogs. And uh, when you're in Detroit, you gotta try Coney Dogs. So, uh, make sure you do get that. You know, you go in the place. Order three of them. That's what I did. Uh, I was hoping for a great, great, great hot dog, and this was great. You know, you got your hot dog, you got your chili, you got your onions, and you got your mustard, and it's perfect. Um, do suggest going there if you're in Detroit. They are open until 3 in the morning, so even when you get back uh, to the hotel, you can still walk a couple blocks and get those Coney dogs. Now, um, the next day, we were on a mission. Um, hotel, when we got there, um, a couple of disappointments. One, there was a boil ban on the water. Uh, so when we got there, we got uh, a couple bags of uh, water from the hotel. Uh, couldn't get ice. Um, the bar had to buy ice and bring it in. The Starbucks that was in the hotel wasn't uh, running. So not a big deal we already had bought water and stuff for the for the room so we were set um, the other thing is this bar in this hotel shuts down at like 11 and you know where I come from we open up we stay a bar until 1 o'clock in the morning you know they lost the, probably a lot of business because uh, they were shooing us out of there but we went down got some Coney dogs came back and chilled uh, the next morning since, uh, you know, pops like $3 a can in the in the vending machine and stuff like that. We were on a mission to find, you know, some Dr. Pepper for Yeti, some Jameson, uh, some Fireball. We got some little bottles. Um, and some hard cider, you know. Uh, things to take back for later that, that evening, that Friday night. Uh, when we got back, we were just chilling around. Uh, so we're in no big hurry that morning. Uh, we found a CVS and then we found a liquor store. And while we're around, we are amazed how beautiful downtown Detroit is. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show some of those pictures here. I'll say it before, I'll say it again, you never take enough pictures. But we were living in the moment, downtown Detroit, on our little journey. Uh, Giz, Fresh, and I, just checking out the city, getting our stuff, and getting going. I wish I would have got more pictures, but I think those are great pictures that I did get. Kind of caught the moment of, of what it was, us on a mission. Now, <clears throat> we got back to the hotel. And uh, we started to get ready to go to ECC. We were waiting around for everybody to get ready. 
and we headed on out there. Now, ECC, when you get there, we got our we got our badges and we got in, and it was business to business day, so we we were able to go up right up to the vendors and uh, check out some stuff. You know, um, went up to Drip Witch. Sorry. Drip Witch, uh, they had three flavors there. I picked up this butter pecan uh, flavor. It's a butter pecan ice cream sandwich. Um, also the Black Hat Vapors. They had a great uh, uh, bourbon cream. Um, also ran into the Vaptasia guys. And I got their parfait and their fruit custards. So those will be coming up in a review soon. Um, it wasn't all about the products. Uh, we were going around, uh, showing out, meeting new people. You know, I said later that I would uh, state some of the other people that I forgot. You know, it was people like, um, kind of wrote it down here. Uh, we met uh, Timmers, Addy Tooney. Addy Tooney was there, and he gave me the extension for my Addy Tooney capon. That's awesome. Thank you, and shout out to Addy Tooney. Met Paul Zilla with the TVL squads. Um, Paul Zilla, I'm still... Thank you, talk me into that. <laughs> uh, we met Kimmy, and we met DJ LSB, uh, Zach, Vapor Mon Vaping Moderation, um, Todd Hudson from the groups, uh, Vaporium. Um, we actually uh, we got to meet Dear Addy, and boy is that guy tall and he is an awesome person um, we also ran into Big Natty uh, Roro Rochelle uh, Nikki B uh, ran into her and Owen Ginter uh, nice I liked it when he saw me he went and said leap it down um, you know there's probably more people in here you know there's uh, you know I don't know if I mentioned it, but Kimmy Vapes great person um, Tons, tons more people there. That uh, SR Bontrager, he'll be in one of these little video clips. Um, you know, it, it was great getting to see everybody at the show. And I'm going to roll uh, kind of all my footage of the expo together here. Um, just, just, just to go ahead and show you the experience here. And like I said, I wish I would have took more. Uh, there'll be some shots of like the uh, cotton bacon... Uh, booth, the guy giving us a demonstration, Vaptasia guys, uh, just me rocking around, and I'm going to even uh, add in a little footage, I'll speed it up uh, probably a good eight times, um, but uh, also uh, gives her Stu's uh, drip tip being made by Gatorboard, uh, if you guys haven't uh, found him, look him up on Instagram, it's Gator underscore board, B-O-R-E-D, and uh, check that out. He had some excellent uh, drip tips. There's the one that I had made custom for me. And this is the only piece of hardware I picked up. The TVL stub nose aluminum. Um, I'll probably give them a shout out with a review as well on that. Um, so let's go ahead and roll some footage. I'll try to speed it up so it's not crazy. Uh, but also... Uh, Bear with me, it was uh, some shaky ca camera holding, uh, so don't get too close to your screen.
All right, so we get back from the expo, and uh, we're hanging out. We go out to Greek Town, go to the Pegasus, and we go have uh, some nice Greek food. I had the nice lamb with spaghetti. I'll put a picture here after uh, I get done speaking here. And we'll, I got one last thing to share about that night that while we are hanging out, you know these chubby Gorilla Bottles? Well, Dean from Coil Dips was in our room hanging out, and he was passing around some Dis One. He was a pretty uh, popular guy that night in the room. So he's over there, and I think uh, Gizzard Stew was filling up a tank. Someone was filling up a tank, and um, he's got it going. He's like, wow, this comes out a little bit slow. Dean comes over, and he's like, wow, you're doing it wrong. And he goes and grabs onto it in both hands. And he presses really hard. And you know, those chubby bottles have that part right there. That little part in the cap. With all that pressure, it popped out. We had close to probably 160 mils spill out onto the coffee table. Juices everywhere. We're wiping it up. And, uh, you know, you look over and Gizzer Stew is dripping some into his atomizer. So, I got a clip of that. We'll go ahead and look at that real quick. The biggest, the biggest waste of this one ever. Uh, <laughs> Those coils are just getting moist. So yeah, that happened. Pretty funny that night. We hung out till 4 o'clock in the night. The one night. 2.30 the next night. Great having that central location where all of us could hang out. People filtered in and out, and, uh, you know, great time had by all. And uh, couldn't ask for a better group of guys to hang out. Ren was there keeping us in check. Uh, you know, you can't have too many guys in a room all together. But, you know, uh, that that's that's it. You know, that was my ECC experience. You know, I went, met all the vape fam, um, experienced the event, uh, made some connections, got some juice, got a piece of hardware, and, you know, all safe and sound, comfortable, never had to worry about being on your own. Every, somebody was always there. Uh, pros of the expo, you know, the family, vape fam, love you guys. Um, the other pro? Business to business day. If you can swing it, go to a business to business day. You can walk up to the place, uh, get talk to some business owners, and 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 talk to them and and get the ins and outs of all their products. Um, it's a great way without a hundred people behind you looking at these vendors for just juice and stuff like that. Um, the other con, it, it was a great little city. Uh, actually, another pro, it was, it's a great city. Beautiful city, downtown Detroit. Detroit gets a bad rap, but the downtown is, uh, I think, recovering from uh, that bad rap. Uh, the cons, you know, uh, outside of business to business day, uh, the expo is packed. Music's pumping. You got dubstep in this corner, something else in this corner. You got uh, Guys on their game, the vendors are on their game trying to pull everybody in to try that juice, get them in. And uh, it, it kind of feels like, you know, a giant car carnival. And it kind of is. You got a bunch of freaks walking around, um, blowing smoke everywhere. Excuse me, blowing vape everywhere. Um, having a great time. You know, it's kind of, it, it, if you're not a people person, if you don't like a lot of people, you're not going to like an expo. But... I can I can mold into almost every environment, so it was kind of cool. Um, excellent people watching. Uh, the other con, you know, it's cold in Detroit. Uh, 
we need to schedule Detroit in the summer and maybe Florida, L.A. during the winter months. Uh, just a tip out there at ECC. Let's change those up around a little bit. Um, the other con, leaving everybody behind or watching everybody go to the airport going home. You know, the main thing I went there for is to meet the people I've never met before but hang out on here. So I'm glad I met everybody and we had a great time. Um, you know, the other thing, if you made it this far, I got a sweet reward for you. Um, Saturday morning, we went fresh, uh, Gizzard, Wren, and I went to the Detroit Institute of Art and to and around the museum. And I didn't get pictures of everything, but I got a good amount of pictures of some of the stuff that we've seen. We've seen Van Gogh's, we've seen Cezanne's, we've seen Peter Paul Rubens. We've seen some, you know, African American art that's in here. Um, some, you know, Chinese, Japanese arts. Um, every culture was represented, and uh, you know, every period, even up to Warhols and some of the uh, a George Siegel you'll see in there. Um, some of that modern art is in there. So, I want to leave you with that. I'll leave you that at the tail end. That's what we're going to leave on. Um, but I remember, thank you guys for watching. Thank you everyone that I met in Detroit. Um, nothing but love for everyone there. And, uh, oh, thanks. thanks. I'm happy. I went to ECC, had a great time, and now I'm now I know I've been able to hug people and, and get to know people instead of just having this computer screen in between us. So, thanks again for watching. And remember, life is fucking awesome as long as you're not smoking. Until next time, you have a great one. Let's roll that art footage. Thank mm -hmm. you.